I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while.
didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river. And it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border, no matter what. Please, you've got to help us. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Come on, Alice. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh. No! 
I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice, you know that's not true. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. Hurry, we Arthur, take door. Alice and hide... Upstairs. I knew this was gonna happen. Come on, Alice. I knew it. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you 
have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, no, there's no one. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. <laughs> 